If you enjoy chicken tortilla soup, you have got to try this recipe. Chicken tortilla soup is one of my favorite soups, one of the favorite soups of my family, and definitely a favorite of my grandchildren. Let me show you how yummy this is. Doesn't that just look yummy? And look at that melted cheese string, stringing out from it. <clears throat> Every Mexican restaurant in Texas has their own separate recipe. Every family has their own recipe. Some will put beans in it. Our family don't want beans in ours. Some people have zucchini in theirs. And my granddaughter definitely did not like zucchini in her chicken tortilla soup. But this is, a fa this is my favorite recipe, and I hope it will become your favorite recipe also. Welcome to Homemade Cooking in Texas. I'm Carolyn Gibson from Dogwood Gardens, where homemade cooking is surprisingly easy, healthier for you and your family, saves money, and tastes great. Come join me today as I share my favorite recipes, and I hope they will become your favorite recipes. And don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started with our ingredients for chicken tortilla soup ingredients. One quart of chicken stock or broth, at least two cups of chicken with the vegetables. If you made your own broth, that's with your onion, celery, and carrots. A wood can of rotel diced tomatoes and peppers. Now, if you don't have the rotel, it's actually called diced tomatoes with a chilies. Now I use the original, you can use mild or hot, it's your choice. One can of cream of chicken soup, a handful of crushed tortilla chips, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powders, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, dried or fresh cilantro, and cooked rice, shredded cheese, and optional if you have an avocado, and more chips. Okay, the very best chicken tortilla soup starts with your homemade chicken broth and the uh, chicken and vegetables that you made the chicken broth with. And I have a link on, on the description to my YouTube on how to make your homemade chicken broth. Now, if the easiest way to make chicken tortilla soup is just buy a can of canned chicken and some store-bought chicken, chicken broth. Now, it's, it's just as simple as just pouring your your chicken broth in, into the pan. Add in a can of rotel, tomatoes, and peppers. A can of cream, creamy chicken soup. Now you can leave this out, but it does make it a little creamier. Add my spices, I have a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of garlic. And I have a little dried cilantro set aside. Now if you had a fresh cilantro, that would certainly be much better. And we need a handful of tortilla chips. Now right now it's just a matter of just stirring it up, letting all this heat up. Go ahead and add your uh, your chicken and your vegetables. Crumble up this handful of uh, tortilla chips. This would be a good time to use those little chips for at the bottom of your package. And now let's just wait for the stove to do this magic. Okay, now you are going to heat your uh, broth and, and soups up until the tortilla, chi uh, tortilla chips have dissolved. And this would be a good time to maybe do a taste test to see how salty it is. Mm. You may or may not want to add salt, but these tortilla chips were pretty salty, so I do not need to add any more salt. Now this is a good time now I want to add my dried cilantro. And of course if you had fresh cilantro, you would add it now also. You just don't want to boil your cilantro to death and destroy all the, all the healing properties out of it. Okay, and now I'm ready to plate it up. Now I'm just going to add 
a little bit of rice to my bowl. Now some people may like a little rice, some may like a whole lot of rice. So you give people this option. And then I'm going to just put some in here. You just can't believe how good this smells and how good it tastes. Now to, to set this off, I'm going to put some cheese on top. Now you can use Mexican cheese, you can use a Mexican blend like I'm using, you can use cheddar cheese, you can use Monterey Jack. It's all what we prefer. Just sprinkle a little on top. And to make this even better, I'm going to add my tortilla chips. And that is a meal all in itself on a cold winter day if you're feeling sick. This is just a, a wonderful meal. And especially good if you want it to go camping, have it made in advance, just heat it up and add your cheese. And, and uh, it's just great. This is just so yummy. Let, let me show y'all. Mmm. Oh. This just tastes so great. I want y'all to try this recipe. If you enjoy it and like it as much as I do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today at Homemade Cooking in Texas. Uh, these are my favorite recipes, and I hope they will become yours. Now, if you enjoy these recipes, please like and subscribe so you can see more of these type recipes. We have been making a full-time living here on our organic farm since 1991. We need your support to continue our small family farm by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much.